Although the Carters were in the White House a long time ago, active local Democrats remember them well and are reacting to Mrs. Carter's passing. Marissa Thomas joins us now in the studio. You talked with a couple of people with quite a connection to the former First Lady. Good evening, Lisa. I spoke with an active local Democrat who will never forget meeting the Carters because of what they did for her. And with national, and with national journalist Steve Scully of Erie, who interviewed Rosalind and Jimmy Carter many times, and shared how Erie impacted them. Barbara Nikevich's first encounter with the Carters happened at a Democratic National Convention. Nikevich has cerebral palsy and uses a wheelchair, and the hotel didn't have accessible rooms available for her. I didn't have any real support behind me, and all of a sudden, this team of people came up and said, we're with the Carter family, and we won't let this happen to the disabled, and we're going to make room for her on the VIP floor. Days before Rosalind Carter died, Nikevich found an old magazine cover with the Carter family on it. I found it by accident, and I just can't put it away. And the family will always be in my prayers. Nikevich remembers Rosalind Carter's caring attitude towards all people. She gave everybody love. Steve Scully interviewed the Carters and remembers how Rosalind visited Erie and the Barber Center. So Erie really had a significant influence in Rosalind Carter's life and career because mental health was her passion. And she proved time and time again that she was going to help so many people in so many different ways. Scully says Jimmy and Rosalind Carter accomplished a multitude together with the goal in mind to help others. They were unselfish. They were just a role model in public service, never looking to, to make money off of their time in the White House or their time as governor. They just really re reflected what public service is all about. And as reactions pour in, First Lady Jill Biden said Rosalind, Ro Rosalind Carter inspired the nation and was an advocate for mental health reform and a champion for equal rights and opportunities for women and girls. Live in the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.